this tutorial, I'm going to take a quick look at some of the accessibility features that are built into the new Voice Dream Rider app. Now, this is not a full review of the app. For that, you should go to the Voice Dream website. Uh, but here, I'm going to focus on some features that are built into the app specifically for voiceover users. And what's really nice is that all of the controls are labeled for those who use voiceover, but also there are a few options that make it easier to enter and edit text when you're using voiceover. Of course, you can do the same things with uh, the standard voiceover features, such as the rotor, but this just makes it easier for a student or for somebody who's new to voiceover to quickly get started with any assignments that they have to do for school. So let's take a look at these new features. Here, I've already launched the Voice Dream Writer app, and I'm gonna turn on voiceover by using my accessibility shortcut. So I'm gonna triple click the home button. And then I have it set to bring up a menu, and from the menu, I'm going to choose VoiceOver. VoiceOver on. Now, um, right above the keyboard, there's a toolbar, and on the left side of that toolbar, we have three different options that are specifically there for VoiceOver users. From left to right, these options are as follows. Cursor, button, adjustable. Cursor movement unit, word, adjustable. Select text, button, adjustable. So let's take a look at each of these in more detail. Beginning from the left again, we have the cursor button. Cursor, button, adjustable. As it lets us know there, this is an adjustable option. So if I want to move the cursor, I can flick up or down and it will move the cursor through the document depending on what my cursor movement unit is that I've selected. So here I can flick up a few times. Users, misspelled. VoiceOver. Four. Options. And as I do that, I'm moving through the document one word at a time, and it pronounces uh, the word as I go through. Now I can flick down, and again, the cursor will move down through the document one word at a time. Options. Four. VoiceOver. Users misspelled. And as I move through the document, it will let me know whenever I get to a word that's misspelled. And we're going to look at how to uh, edit those words that are misspelled in just a second. To the right of the cursor button, I have a cursor movement unit option. And if I select that, I can then flick up or down to change my cursor movement unit. And mirroring what's available in the rotor, I can choose from characters, words, or uh, sentences. So let's take a look at that. I'm going to select the option first. So I'm going to flick to the right to move the focus to the cursor movement unit option. Cursor movement unit, word, adjustable. It lets me know that I have words selected right now, but I can flick down and select sentences. Sentence. And so now, uh, if I go back to the cursor button. Cursor, button, adjustable. I can now move through the document by using my new cursor movement unit, which is sentences. It is designed to make the writing process easier, misspelled. And again, it lets me know that it's a word in that sentence that's misspelled. The final option we have here is for making selections. So I'm going to flick to the right a couple of times until I have that option selected in the toolbar. Cursor move, select text, button, adjustable. And here I'm going to select text according to my cursor movement unit. So I will flick down and it's going to select uh, the next sentence. It is designed to make the writing process easier. Selected. And then if I double tap with one finger, alert, it is designed to make the writing process easier. It not only will repeat what I have selected, just to make sure that I have the right selection. And then I have my editing options. Uh, again, this mirrors a lot of what you can access through the rotor. Copy button. Cut button. Paste button. Cancel button. Document text. Text select text button. Adjustable. You can do most of your work with VoiceOver in Voice Dream Writer by using that one finger flick up or down gesture, but a three finger gesture is also supported. For example, if I have the cursor button selected, cursor button adjustable, I can move the cursor all the way to the beginning of the document by swiping up with three fingers. Voice Dream Writer is a new app from the makers of Voice Dream Reader. Or I can go all the way to the end of the document by flicking down with three fingers. Voice Dream Writer is a new app from the makers of Voice Dream Reader. It is designed to make the writing process easier. It also has a number of accessibility options for voiceover users, misspelled. 
And to find out the cursor position, I can double tap with one finger to get that information. Cursor position, end of document. Similarly, with the select button, select text button, adjustable. I can flick up with three fingers and that will select between my cursor position and the beginning of the document or the end of the document, depending on where I am. Voice Dream Writer is a new app from the makers of Voice Dream. Take a look at how we can fix some of those misspellings in our document. The way we'll do that is by first selecting the Tools button, which is in the upper right hand corner. Tools button. And I'll double tap to open my tools. In Tools, I'm, I'll find an option for Find Misspelled Words. Spelled Words. Once I have that selected, I'll double tap with one finger, and that will go through my document and highlight the different words that are uh, misspelled. Doc, one of two. Writing. R I T I N G full sentence. It is designed to make the writing process easier. Button adjustable. So it gives me some indication there, not only of the spelling of that word, the current spelling, but also uh, it reads that sentence that we find that word in. Here I can navigate through the words that are misspelled by again flicking up or down with one finger. Two of two. Users. U S R S full sentence. It also has a number of accessibility options for voiceover users. One of two. Writing. R I T I N G full sentence. It is designed to make the writing process easier. Now if I double tap with one finger. Document text. Text field is editing. Let me know what's selected, and then I could go in with my keyboard and I could fix it. U selection delete R R I T. Another way that I can fix a misspelled word is by using the word finder and the phonetic search. To open the word finder, I'm going to swipe from the right with three fingers. Word finder. Selected phonetic search button. Two of three. 106 words found by phonetic search. Uses. Users. Swipe up or down to select a custom action, then double tap to activate. Once I find the word that I want to uh, replace the misspelling with, I can then just double tap with one finger and that will insert the correct spelling into my document. Selected. Users. There it is. It's corrected the word that I had misspelled in my document. And then to close the word finder, I can just swipe from the left or swipe to the right with three fingers. That's it for this accessibility overview of the new Voice Dream Writer. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and thank you for watching.